Welcome back everyone to Montgomery County's Engage at Home. We have a special guest today. His name is Michael Lamonda. I know that you have navigated transferring from being a full-time driver to um, a different way of getting about. Could you please tell our viewers a little bit about your experiences? Yes, um, I'm 70 years old. Uh, about five years ago, we sold the last vehicle we had. We, we had owned a 2003 Ford Escape and it just got too many miles on it and was starting to cost thousands and thousands of dollars to keep repaired. So we just sold it for parts. And at that point had to, had to learn how to navigate the uh, independent car field. So we, uh, we started out with cabs, of course. Um, they're expensive and they're not as reliable as it could be. And they take forever to get you any place you want to go. So we, we continued to look and look and we came across uh, Gaithersburg Help, which is a wonderful service for, uh, for, for, for getting people back and forth to doctor's appointments. They give you, they're kind enough to give people 18 round trip visits to doctor's appointments within, a, within the Gaithersburg and upper Montgomery County region for doctors. And that works out wonderfully. But that's only for doctors and that unfortunately 18 visits a year usually is not enough so we ended up continuing to look and we at that point about five years ago uh lyft was just getting started and, and so was uber they were they'd been around but they had not really entered the marketplace we needed for the cell phone system to go, go up level four to have the speed to communicate with both uh, uber and with lyft when that happened that opened up a whole new world because we could communicate with them and make appointments and get rides set up and they would come and pick us up and take us to our destinations and then call them when, when we're finished there and they'd bring us back home or take us to wherever else we wanted to go. At this point, I'm actually a premium customer with, with, with Uber because I use them so much. Uh, but it's really, really worked out very, very well. Uh, to own a new vehicle would cost me four to $500 a month in payments plus whatever the car insurance would be, that would be probably two or $3,000 a year, maybe more than that. And Uber is not costing me that. It's costing me at least three or $400 a month, but it doesn't cost me what, the, what a car would cost me. And it's just convenient and easy. And I don't have to worry about how I feel or anything else when I'm feeling up to driving because now I'm just getting the backseat of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. I mean, before, before a COVID happened, I could get in the front seat, which gives me more room for my back. I've been through 15 spine surgeries. Mm -hmm. So twisting and turning to get in and out of the backseat of some of these vehicles is not easy. But with COVID, I'm forced to sit in the back seat, which is okay. Yeah. And it works. Excellent. And you, I like how you worked through the math. You knew that you needed to get out and about. And you worked out the math that if you owned your own car, it would cost X amount a month. But right. if you use ride share, it would cost you a couple of hundred dollars less a month. Is that what you said to me? Yes, basically that, that's about it. it it would cost us a couple thousand dollars a year, which is another way, just a bigger way to put it. Yeah. But it's a you know, much, more, much more demonstrative number at that point. Um, you know, and it's just, you, you reach in your pocket and you pay. And actually what's convenient with the ride shares is you prepay when you reserve your ride and they pick you up, you're paying right then. They pay you mm -hmm. either use a credit card or a debit card and they, you're paid. So there's no, you don't handle cash with a driver or anything else. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, mm. so I, I, I can be out and about with, with 10 or $15, $20 in my pocket and not worry about how, I, how I'm going to get back home, you know, or get to my next destination, whatever it might be, you know. Excellent, excellent. And when you first started off, you said you did use a system through Gaithersburg. Um, I can't remember what its name was. Could you tell us it, a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's called Gaithersburg Help. It's a local charity. Um, that does a lot of things, most of which I don't know anything about. I mean, they do meals. They do meals for people who don't need meals. They do all this. They do, do the, the standard type of uh, charity functions for local, local close-in charities. But one of the major things that affects us, my, saying us as my wife and I, is they give us 18 free round, trip, round trips to the doctor per person within a Good given ge geographic uh, area and, and is that a private that. vehicle or is it a taxi how do they transfer how be, do you get there it, it can be either one um if they if they have a if they have a driver who's available 
then they'll send us by private driver. If not, if not, they'll send us by, by cab. Oh, excellent. So or, it, or, ta or taxi. That is fantastic. So particularly, um, and that was interesting, it wasn't per household, it was per person. So per person, correct. Yeah, you're getting, you know, your family is getting 36 um, return trip correct. medical Round appointments. Trip. Right. Round trips. Right. And it, it sounds like for your health, you prefer using um, a, a vehicle rather than um, public transport and that sort of thing. Well, the problem with pu public problem public transport is you have to walk to them. Yeah, they they don't come to your front door with 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 the either the cabs or with Gaithersburg Helps vehicles and their people that come to your front door and drop you at the doctor's office front door. Yeah. Public transportation yeah. doesn't do that. They can't. You yeah, know, their 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 buses can't get in can't get into uh, private streets and that kind of thing. Yeah, you know, and they have to run on a schedule so they can so they can stay in business. Okay, so this is this has worked out really well for you. So you can do door to door appointments. Yes, and that's correct. And what I like about you've got your medical appointments. You know, not every single one's going to be covered by um, the 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 nonprofit. But you've you've done the math and you've worked out the 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 cost of running that private vehicle isn't worth it, and you can get um, um, probably even the, a higher level of service because you don't have to worry about trying to find a park. Right, right, yeah. There's there's, there's no worry about parking or anything else. You're right. That's a you very good point. And you're not having to pay for parking, which is is well, yes, I expensive. do. Yes, I I do as part. Of, as part of the deal with Gaithersburg Help, if if we go to somewhere like like to a medical park where there's a six or eight dollar parking fee, oh, yeah. the the rider is expected to pay that okay. Gaithersburg Help. Uber and Lyft, they just drop you off, and then you when you're finished going to the movies or shopping or whatever, you can just get you another. Just call, you just call them. Yes, I mean yeah. I do all my grocery shopping that way. You know, when I leave, I call. I want to go to a. I want to go to Whole Foods over in the Catlins. I live in Montgomery Village, but I want to go to Whole Foods over in the Catlins. They just take me to Whole Foods and do all my grocery shopping and come back out of the store with my cart, call them, and they come and get me, put all the groceries in the trunk of the car, bring me back home. You've, you've really sorted out, and I take it you don't have to wash a car anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> None of that. First of all, I don't want to do it. Second of all, my back won't let me do it. So You are a good advertisement for someone who wants to keep active but just has through either health reasons or also practical reasons has actually said you know what i'm going to do share rides so we all really reach that point in our lives i mean i'm 70 years old now my wife is 73 you know what i'm capable of driving my wife uh suzanne is no longer physically capable of driving i am capable of driving i don't want to a lot of days i don't want to have to worry about it anymore you know uh, especially when you go into doctor's offices where you're either on a big parking lot or you're in the middle of a high rise complex. I don't feel like walking three or four buildings down and then going up to the doctor's office. And they say, your blood pressure is way out of line today. Yeah, because my back hurts because I've done too much. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Exactly. But, you know, it, it works, works, works very well. And it sounds like what you've also been able to enjoy is keeping active. You know, you haven't let not having your own personal vehicle oh, right. correct. be a handicap. Correct, correct. You know, for the for the holidays, uh, the family will come and get us and take us to their house and bring us back home afterwards. Um, but beyond that, we can we can go. You know, I want to say we can go any place we want. You know, yeah. we can go to we can go to Baltimore. We can go to Washington. It's just a matter of paying the fare and going. Excellent. And have you ever combined um, using share ride with? you know, say catching the train, like if you caught the Uber to the train station, or do you you tend to just like keeping in that car once you've jumped in it? Well, once I've gotten in the car, I'd rather stay there, but you know, where the train's gonna take me is far too far away to, to ask, and you know, I could, yes, Uber will take you almost any place you wanna go, but you don't wanna pay the fare for it. Yeah. You know, when you compare the price of a plane ticket or an airplane ticket to what it would cost to go in Uber, plus, you get get involved in that. You don't want to go six and eight hours in a vehicle. I can't yeah. I can't ride in a vehicle more than about two hours because of my back. Okay. You know, so and the price of that just gets exorbitant after a while. This has been such a good interview. So 
We've, we're, we're coming to the end of our time together. What advice would you give to our viewers who may be also at that point where they could give up their car, but they're, they're a bit hesitant? Um, what, what advice would you give our viewers? Well, it's the uh, one thing I can say is that if you plan it right and you figure it out and you figure it out, it's just a matter of, you know, getting, putting, putting the Uber or the, or the Lyft app on your phone which we can all do very easily, and then just contact them. You have to go into the app in advance and tell them who you are and that kind of thing and register and give them either your credit card or your debit card or your checking or savings account somewhere where they can debit you automatically when you, when you reserve a ride. It works well. You know, they're not perfect, but then nobody is perfect. You know, but they do, it, they do a very, very good job of what they do. Yeah. Well, thank and it, you. it gives me the freedom to go wherever I really need to go you know, there are some things that are too much. Yes, yeah, so I just take I just take Uber like to the subway station and I go downtown to go to a show or do whatever it is I want to do, you know, that kind of thing. So it works Excellent. well. Excellent. So I really like the fact that you you you're you're a poster child for <laughs> um, um, being active. Um, utilizing local services and um, and also making it so it works for you. So thank you, Michael. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you um, for being here with us today. Happy to. You all have a good day. Thank you, and be right. well. You too. Bye-bye. So you have been watching Engage at Home, brought to you by the county's Caregiver Support Program. And as always, I remind you to stay calm. <laughs>